hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be giving you a very detailed and beginner friendly tutorial on how to shop and ship from alibaba to nigeria without a procurement agent so in this video i'll be covering everything you need to know from how to source high quality products to how to find a reliable supplier and shipping company so without further rambling let's get right into the video First, you have to make sure you have the Alibaba app installed on your um, device and you also have to make sure you, um, you're you signed in, okay? So once you're on the app, you can scroll through the page and yeah, you can change, change the um, currency, the items are displayed in from um, dollar to naira. To do that, simply head over to um, my Alibaba and up here where you have the flag and usd tap on it tap on currency and search for um naira okay yeah as you can see it says this currency this currency is unavailable for checkout but you can view products in this currency okay so you can't pay in naira you only get to view the items in naira okay and or something else to note is that the dollar to naira equivalent is slightly different when compared to what we are using here in nigeria you can also search for um whatever product or item you're looking for i'm just going to search for portable washing machine once i search that it brings out a lot of items and um, what i like to do is to head over to this filter icon up here and um, tap on it and scroll all the way down and um, check the trade assurance and verified supplier um boxes okay then show results what this does is that it helps display legit suppliers and manufacturers and with this the chances of you getting scammed is very low and also the trade assurance feature like makes it easier for you to get a refund in the case of a dispute there are other filters up here like the customizable ready to shape and what suppliers but i'll just skip that so i'm just going to scroll through this page and what i look out for is um how long a particular supplier has been on the alibaba app and the store ratings rating okay and um uh, i just tapped on this particular supplier and as you can see um this supplier has 59 orders of this um washing machine so let's check out the reviews and just read through the reviews uh yeah some of the reviews are um in french what you can do is to just copy um the review and paste in your google translator for it to translate it to english for you okay and um just scroll through the reviews uh, you can also check the store reviews just read through so you just know what the quality of the product from this supplier is like okay so once you're done going through the review and if you feel like um this supplier is good and you want to work with the supplier simply um tap on the chat now icon or send inquiry I don't use the start order or add to cart um, icon. Let me just quickly show you why. So once I tap on the start order icon, it brings me here. And um, I'm just going to add five of these. And once I tap on start order, it's telling me that the uh, minimum order is 12 pieces so like there's already and um, there's an automated um, minimum order here and um you can't even price or negotiate anything here okay let's even forget about the shipping fee down here just forget about it i'll get to that later okay the same thing applies to the add to cards so to um once you tap on the chat 
now icon. Yeah, you either send this or you type um a specific request. The same thing for the send inquiry icon. You can send this message or you can add extra details. You can also just clear this and type your own message. Okay. So once you message them, they usually get back to you um soon and um you should know that um our time zones are different and i think night time here is their daytime and so in fact up here you can see the time there the time here in nigeria is 1 15 pm and their local time is um 8 14 pm so you should just have this in mind when you're trying to chat to them okay you should message other suppliers and know their rates and um, just check out different people and before you decide on who you're going to purchase from okay so once you start chatting with them tell them the quantity of the item you want to purchase and um, most of them will actually sell to you even if it's below their minimum quantity I mean, if the person says no move on to the next supplier and some of them actually refund you the money you pay for the samples when you come back to buy a larger quantity of that item and some of them also give out free samples this depends on what you're buying and the vendor okay for shipping you obviously can't use the shipping company on alibaba i mean you saw the crazy shipping fee you can go ahead and use that if you can afford it there are two main shipping methods we have the air shipping and sea shipping sea shipping is usually used to ship larger quantity of items and is usually less expensive why air shipping is usually more expensive and is used to ship fragile items and also things like batteries and the likes okay why with some shipping companies there's no distinction between all these they just have a standard rate that they charge you per kg irrespective of what you're buying what you're shipping okay about how to find a shipping company there are a lot of shipping companies out there so just do your own research check online and something our advice is that once you find a shipping company that seems to align with what you want our advice you just go and check out your physical location so you are actually sure that they exist or you can send somebody to do that for you okay some of the shipping company that i know include cover mail cargo extra choice logistics and market logistics okay so once you find a shipping company you're ready to work with find out about their dollar rates and their rates what they charge per kg also find out their physical address here in nigeria and also their warehouse address over there in china also find out their mode of payment do they do you pay them once the goods get to their warehouse in china or do you pay when the order comes down here in nigeria and some of them also charge um custom fees 500 naira or so per kg so just do your research and know all these things they're going to come handy when you're done negotiating with the alibaba supplier or in the process they will ask if you have a shipper and ask for the shipper's address what you will do is to forward the address of the shipping company you're working with their china warehouse address to the alibaba supplier and they will calculate how much it will cost them to move the move your order from their location to the warehouse location and they would ask if you're fine with um everything okay and if you're fine with it they will proceed to draft your order you can actually still negotiate at this point and get a few dollars off your purchase okay so once they draft the order it will reflect in your alibaba dashboard okay and you can pay with your dollar card or your paypal or any other payment method that you have available and you can screenshot or download the receipts and send it to the alibaba supplier even though i think they usually get a notification once you pay once they confirm the order they will let you know and your order is usually shipped out within 
a week or so after they confirm your payment before they ship out your order they would let you know and give you a tracking id tell you how much your order weighs and they will also even send you a picture of your order before they move it down to the warehouse so once they ship out the order to the warehouse message the shipping company with the shipping with the tracking id that the supplier gave to you and ask them if they've received the goods or with some of the shipping companies they usually have a website that um, where you put your tracking id and it keeps giving you status updates of where your goods are at the time or if it has arrived at their location okay so about how long the, your order takes before it gets to nigeria it depends on your shipping company and most of them say it takes three to seven days and that's a very big lie most of them from experience they take two weeks three weeks or even a month before your order gets to nigeria once your order gets to nigeria you get notified you get an sms or a call or something to come and pick up your order and once you go to pick up your order make sure they weigh your order right in front of you so you're sure that it aligns with what your supplier told you then um as i mentioned earlier some of them charge extra money for custom fees and all so you have to pay all of that and um I think that is that is all so let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if i missed out something and if you want a detailed tutorial on how to get your dollar card or how to calculate your shipping fees or any of that just let me know in the comment section and that will be all for this video i will see you in my next video bye